Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today we're doing a video of the all new 2020 Toyota Highlander. We'll do an outside walk around, an inside tour, and take it on drive. Before we get into the rest of this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Carson Toyota for providing me with this car to review. They're one of the largest dealerships in SoCal and can help you find the Toyota you are looking for. I'll link all their contact information below. Be sure to give it a call if you have any further questions on Toyotas. Alright guys, so starting off with the specs for the brand new Toyota Highlander, this specific model has a 3.5 liter V6 pushing out 295 horsepower and 263 pound-feet of torque, and it's mated to the 8-speed automatic transmission. We'll get more of a sense of how that drives later on in this review. This one is all-wheel drive, and specifically this one is the Axelli trim. And the only added options on the one we drove here is the rear Highlander decal, which isn't the most necessary option in the world. I mean, I guess it does protect the, the bumper a bit. Anyways, the standard options this comes with is uh, really well as we will see here. Starting off with exterior, I'm a huge fan of the brand new design language for the Highlander. I feel like it's a lot more sleek, but has some nice sharp edges which gives it a very modern look. Starting with new front fascia, these headlights have the LED DRLs and fog lights, but full LED headlights are available in higher trims. The front bumper is clean and I like the blacked out grille. Speaking of black, although this is the midnight metallic, it looks really cool in the sunlight. If the camera does not pick it up here, I highly recommend you go check this out in person as it really caught my eye. Going on to the side, you have a sleek integrated turn signal light on the side of your mirror. These wheels are the 18 inch machine face alloy rims and although 19s are available, I recommend the 18s for those who want the most comfortable ride. You do have a sunroof here standard, but panoramic sunroofs are an option on the platinum trim. Looking at the rest of the side, you'll see those very aggressive body lines which really make this car look a lot longer than it actually is. Going around the back, the taillights are full LED with the exception of the turn signal. One thing I did want to highlight is the extended deck lid spoiler which really gives this SUV the sleek look I referred to earlier. It extends really far back and I think it's my favorite aesthetic feature of this SUV overall. Stepping inside, you're greeted with a fully power adjustable leather seat which is really comfortable. Once you sit in here, you have a commanding view of all your infotainment, climate controls, and safety feature controls as well. Standard is the full suite of driver assist package with Toyota's Driver Sense 2.0, which has lane departure, pre-collision assist, blind spot monitoring, automatic high beams, adaptive cruise control to all speeds, and some unique stuff like roadside detection and cyclist detection. After learning more about the system, I'm really impressed with its capability and intend to do a more in-depth review on the safety system in the future. Going on to the Entune system, this is the 8 inch system which is standard but there's also a 12.3 inch option that I have not tested in this car yet but plan on doing a set review on that once it's available. So smash that like button if you want to see more in-depth Highlander content. I did a detailed walkthrough of the 8 inch system I'll link below once it becomes available. One other display I do want to point out is in between the gauge cluster and gives information like digital speedometer and MPG readouts. Overall, I really like how spacious the interior feels with the way it is designed. You do have a good amount of compartments and pass-throughs for connecting your phone to the USB ports. The center console is unique and that the first thing you see when you open it up is the wireless charger and then you lift that up to get access to the rest of the storage and trays. Going to the second row seat, Toyota has done a great job of making the seats easy and intuitive to adjust and control. The nice thing here is you have a full bench that can be adjusted to allow for more legroom in the third row, which is a no cost option. I'll get more into that a little later. In terms of additional features in the back, you do have window shades, AC controls, and USB ports. Okay, to get to the back seat, all you have to do is pull the appropriate lever and push the seat forward. The opening is easy to get into, but I highly recommend for people over 507 to either sit in the second row or have the second row be adjusted forward to accommodate. Do not worry though, as you can see here, there's a massive amount of room in the second row bench in the standard position. Other than that, a few cup holders there, there isn't much else to the third row section. Going around the back, you do have a full power lift gate, which can store almost anything when you fold all the seats perfectly flat. One thing I wish they can improve on is the speed at which they open, since I'm showing you how fast this, this hatch opens in real time. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for the walkthrough portion of this review. Before we're going to the drive, please comment any questions you have about this car, any trim levels, and whatnot. I'll be doing continuous coverage and videos 
of his car throughout the coming weeks since there's a lot more to cover in terms of the trims. So if you are one of those people that want specific content, please smash that like button, drop a comment so I can see and respond to it and subscribe to keep up to date once the next video is released. It helps this channel a lot and get this video out in front of others who might be interested in this vehicle as well. Okay, with that said, let's fire this thing up and take it on a drive. All right guys, we're in the 2020 Toyota Highlander. Whew. I love the new car smell, man. This thing smells amazing. The leather, smell all that goodness straight from the factory. This thing literally hit the lot today. So I'm one of the first people to drive it and then tell you guys my first impressions of the car. So right off the bat, it's turned on right now. It's pretty quiet, AC's on. We'll lower it a little bit, but I doubt it's getting picked up by the microphones. So I can barely like, hear it. All right, so I was saying like first impressions, I mean, the materials feel amazing. Steering wheel, leather. Uh, this is the XLE trim. It's priced at around $42,000 with how it's equipped. I'll put the link to this specific model on Carson Toyota's website. So just keep that in mind if you guys wanna check out this specific one. Uh, it's got black interior, black exterior. I saw from the paint exterior. Um, and from a from a feel, I talked all about the features in the voiceover, but from a feel standpoint, feels very spacious, very roomy, roomy and uh, very comfortable just without even getting it on the drive. Just sitting in the seats, I love how plush they feel and I think everything's within reach. Everything you do touch is uh, either high-end materials or uh, soft touch. So yes, there are some plastics here and there, but they're not really cheap, tacky plastics. There are some occasions where you can see them, uh, but I think that stuff is just gonna be very uh, durable over time. So without any further ado, let's just take this thing on a drive and see how it feels on the road. Back up here. You have a nice big backup camera with your eight inch infotainment system. As you can see right here and I mean the car doesn't feel as big on the inside as it does look on the outside I think Toyota does a really good job of that so it is that 3.5 liter with 295 horsepower 268 pound-feet of torque uh, in terms of the base well in terms of the base uh, four-cylinder it's not available anymore but yeah it gets up and goes we're gonna we're gonna give it a little bit of pull here so here we go we're just gonna go right here um, you can go into manual mode this is, now we're in M1, it'll shift into M1, and we'll, uh... Oh! <laughs> so that's a lane keep right there, because, man, this thing has a lot of horsepower. It was just pulling, and I don't know if you guys heard it through the microphones, but the engine sounds pretty, pretty gnarly. I was actually pretty impressed by that. Uh, so, it pulls, it's not going to give you the fastest 0 six time, but it has the power you need to get up to be on the freeway. I think that's what's most important here since a lot of people are going to be driving this day to day. But I like that the lane keep actually came on. It shows that it's actually working. It's a tentative and all that good stuff. I did try the JVL speakers. It's I believe TED 12 speaker. I forget how exactly how much I put it right here. Uh, but it sounds really good. Bass, I think JVL has, has really good bass and I was a big fan of that here. On your gauge cluster, you do have a nice uh, display in the middle between the two, uh, your RPM and your speeds, uh, your speed gauge, and it's giving you instantaneous uh, readout you have other options like your eco indicator uh, your digital speed if you don't like analog and then uh, yeah going back to your fuel economy and then you can adjust some settings in there as well in terms of comfort the suspension is really well damped uh, I, I don't really hear too much road noise when I was going outside of the engine noise but honestly I'm not gonna complain too much about that because I like I like that I mean, overall this car is very easy to drive I love the stitching they have on the, the dashboard right here and in, in the steering wheel on the seats it's pretty good quality stuff and I think that's ultimately what the Highlander is doing they're really upscaling it competing with the competitors that are out there uh, like the Atlas uh, like the Telluride and whatnot so but I think Toyota's all new platform I'm super excited to see that this is what we're gonna be having going forward and I think for the price it's on the higher side but these also hold their value really well since this came out they've been one of the top selling uh, Toyota SUVs out there and I think this one's gonna do just as good so you do have there's really good feedback through the wheel it is electrically controlled steering rack uh, but I, I think it's uh, well weighted uh, for daily driving not you know you're not gonna do any enthusiast driving here this specifically for comfort and uh, predictability I think Toyota is doing a good job there one thing I did notice is uh, under your sun uh, sunglasses uh, case right here you actually have the uh, little rear view mirror so you can actually see the kids when they're back there 
I think it's super nice outside of just using your actual rear view mirror, you have that uh, little pop down option uh, just so you don't actually lose sight of what's behind you uh, when you're looking at what the kids are doing in the back. So cool option, you can speak to them, I think that's neat. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me know what features you guys like, what options you guys want. I have questions about. I'll be responding to all the comments down below. If you guys wanna see other trims, this is the first one that the dealership got in stock, so it's the first one I'm reviewing, and I wanna get out to you as soon as possible, so that's why this is, this is just a brief overview of the Highlander. There's so much in terms of the Platinum trims, the Limited trim, and the Hybrid that's out, so I'm excited to do a lot more coverage of this car. So when those do come out, let me know what you guys think. If you have any other questions, just leave them. I will get back to you and I'll make sure to address them in future videos. So again, if you guys like this video, I really appreciate if you guys subscribed, smash that like button so it shares with other people who might like this, these types of videos. It helps me a lot and it helps uh, the channel grow. So with that said, I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.